I was literally going to make a whole different video, but like, I need to get this off my chest now. I just want to let you guys know that this is a disclaimer. That I'm going to talk about like really dark stuff. So like, if you don't like the video, then click away because I do not have time to like read the hate comments I get. Now, 2020 was not the best year. And it's definitely not going to be the worst because I feel like there's going to be like a lot of more years that are going to be as crappy as this. But that's not what I'm really going on here. Like ever since 2020, my whole family has changed and like that's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm not really close with my family. Sometimes I like to keep my personal feelings to myself and stuff like that. They would often talk about what I wear, how I act. It's like I'm like the outcast of them. But the person I really don't really get along with is my father. Yes, surprisingly. Guess I have daddy issues now. There are some days where I can like agree with him and stuff. And just some days I just don't want to talk of him and every time he complains about something that I didn't do which just makes me really like angry and stuff like that. Sometimes he was always complain about how on the level I am when I'm talking to him because to be honest I don't really talk that much in my family. He would always say how much of an attitude I get and how like angry I get when he talks about me about stuff which is I can understand that but there are some times where he takes it too far and I have the right to become angry every time when I try to talk to him about what happened to my life or what happened with the family he would always say how more superior he is and how he thinks I'm a child and I don't know anything about that now, don't get so worried about me. I live in a safe house and everything is going perfectly fine. Or, I hope it is still is. I just wish he would just understand how I felt and things I'm going through instead of just thinking that I'm more superior and just thinking that I just want attention or just saying that because, like, I'm making him look bad. This is also of me thinking of how insecure I am. Sometimes every th word that people say, like every bullying I get, I always believe those person. And it just, it just makes me feel more bad about myself and like how much I think I'm not good enough and how much I'm just thinking how like, why am I still here? Sometimes he gets so bad that I actually had to mentally and physically harm myself and like to try to get better. I even had to like go to counseling and try to get help for the better of me. Now guys, harming yourself or committing suicide is never the answer. Please go get help if you are in a stage where you can't just take life anymore. Please. Speaking of bullying, let's talk about the gotcha fall community for a little bit. Do you guys know those cringe compilations that you see on YouTube? Yeah, I've seen those a lot. Way a lot. And gotten so bad that I've seen one of the most popular YouTubers getting part of the cringe pop. In my own opinion, I feel like it's very unnecessary to take videos that are somewhat bad and just put to a cringe pop not noticing any YouTuber would see that. There are some YouTubers who actually take this seriously and are thinking about quitting YouTube because their videos are there just because people don't like it. And I feel like cringe population itself is just a waste of time and it's just cyberbullying because you're just ranting on people's work that like they, even if they didn't work hard for it, they still made it and they just wanted people to think of them as a good person. Which leads to bullying other people's accounts and channels and it's, it's just bad. In my own opinion, I feel like we should keep the cringe populations where there are some cringe that like, we can understand that it's bad, but like, if it's there are some YouTubers who actually work really hard for the audio, I, I feel like we should like understand that. 
Sometimes I don't like talking about my personal life to my family because I feel like they wouldn't understand what I'm going through, like I said earlier. And I also don't like talking into the internet because I feel like a lot of people would misunderstand me and either A, might take it really seriously or B, just make fun of me for it, which I'm practically used to now. Like, I've been called gay, loser, and so much other name names that I practically agree with the people who call me that. Which is another thing I should probably stop for. My father would always say how I don't respect him, which I don't even respect myself. So, that's why I don't feel like he would understand me that much. So that's why I would keep more of my feelings to myself. And yes, I know it's going to be hard for me to cope through this, but I know you guys and my family even are here to support me no matter how bad it gets. Because, like, without you guys, I I feel nothing and I just feel like I should just stop doing what I love. There are some times that I don't want to post on YouTube anymore because I feel like nobody will like the content and... I get hated on a lot of things, and I just feel like I was... It's basically, I'm scared. I'm really scared that people will not like me for who I am and what I am now. But even though those tough times will get the best of me, I know I can go through that, and I know you guys will be here for me, and that's all I can accept for. Thank you guys so much for being here with me because if it weren't for you again, I I wouldn't be here today and and I, I just feel honored that I have almost 60 subscribers. Don't be afraid to ever talk to someone about how you feel and about your problems because a lot of people will understand how you're going through and we will all work it out together. And I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And please subscribe for more content if you want to. And this is Catmoo, signing off.